Hey, it's Tom at Tiger. Um, this is, um, we're in the shop right here. You take a look around there. We're, we do repair Lowe's work here, fix all the machines that come back. And this is actually a, I'm, what I have in my hands right now here is actually a, a um, dryer vent. And if you look up to the light, the, the dryer vent looks clear, right? You might see some garbage right here, right? But what actually this is, is actually wax and lint embedded. So these new European and Asian dryers use a microfine filter. And this might look clear, but it's actually not clear. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to do uh, to see if actually, if you get a lint fault or you get a poor drying performance. This came out of a Bosch dryer and the lint light kept coming on. So this is the first thing we go for. Uh, so I'm going to show you right now. So as I showed you before, this looks like it's clear. Little trick is to, the way we look at is that air, air has to go through this. The dryer has to breathe and it has to exhaust all the air and clean all the lint so the lint doesn't clog your, your venting system in your house and your exterior vent. So we are, we're, we're cleaning and filtering the lint out. Now, if we're gonna actually test this with water, and I put a very slow, very slow uh, trickle. And if you look here, this is actually holding water right there. It's actually holding water. So if this actually holds water, it's gonna hold air or restrict the air. So it's coming through a little bit, but that holding water, if it holds water, it'll hold air. So we're gonna clean this and show you how to do this, um, to clean this, just to be done every, quarter or every six months, depends how much fabric softener you use. Because this is actually wax from the fabric softener. We're gonna clean this with a, with a little brush right here. Stole this from the wife, okay? She, Barbara would be pissed off. So, um, I'm famous for stealing uh, brushes and a turkey baster, so. Uh, so what we're gonna do is either take a, anything from soft soap to Dawn to any kind of soap to clean this and rub it in and then you're gonna do is take a scrub brush, not too stiff, and just clean the wax. And still, we're still seeing some stuff here. So I need to go to a heavier soap right now. Um, I'm actually gonna jump over to... So I'm gonna, it's still, still dirty. That dirt is wax still embedded. So I'm going to go to a heavier product, Clorox cleanup. This is, um, usually bleach will not work it, but this is a cleanup detergent. Um, I find that this thing, this works really good. Thing. Be careful of splashing your shirt. So, there we go. Nice and clean. So what we're going to do now, a little more there, that could be gum or something, who knows. So what now we're going to do is, we're going to dry it off and show the test again. Dry this nice and dry, and if you look up to the light again, the same angle, it's much clearer. You know what I'm saying? Even where we had the brown marks there, the black marks it looks so much clearer around. So right now we're gonna do is do the water test 
and same amount of trickle water goes right through right there it goes right through there's some little puddling I mean nothing so this is a common issue we get with people say the dryer is not drying this is something you can do come home and you can do this yourself because people get a little pissed off when we um, do this and um, they say oh they, they feel stupid what happens people feel stupid and they're not stupid they just didn't know um, this is from years of experience I'm doing this 30 years so that's a common issue so um, especially if you use fabric softener this is Tom at Tiger signing off